finally have my kitchen pretty much back to normal. My husband got the doors all finished the rest of the way and everything, so I'm back in my normal uh, filming spot. So I thought I'd hop on here because I have, I feel like a lot to share. Um, not so much projects because I've only done a couple, but lots of other stuff to show you and share and stuff. So let's dig in. First, I am gonna just start and get out of the way the projects that I finished since the last time we met. There isn't much, there's only two things. So I've told you guys before, when the weather gets nicer, I don't feel like sitting with yarn as much. I would rather be sitting out on my patio reading a book. So I've done a lot of reading and a lot less yarn work. So first thing is just a ruffle scarf. Finished a ruffle scarf. And the yarn I used is Sachet. It's the Red Heart Boutique sachet and the colorway is con oops is conga so I did this one a little bit wider I put every like fourth loop on the loom and I showed you in one of the prior videos it's just a small little loom round loom and I don't have it here with me because it's at work it's I'm I've got another project at work that's a ruffle scarf but I haven't even started it I just have all the supplies there and then the other project this one's kind of cool it's a scarf and it's made with yarn that's called Burnett Zap and the colorway is grass is greener see on the picture how it shows like little pom-poms colorway I have is different than what shows on the picture but here's what the scarf looks like it's this bright green and then see how there's the little pom-poms that are throughout and the pom-poms are like kind of a blue and green it's pretty cool I think a little kid would really like this so that is it in the way of projects I just really like I said I just haven't felt like doing anything with yarn so let's see up next let's talk about tea I have my purple envelope from Plum Deluxe if you're interested they're a monthly they actually sell all kinds of teas so you could go to plumdeluxe.com you don't have to join the monthly tea you could buy tea at any time but they have a monthly club the one that I participate in is $10 a month and you get a full size tea and a sample of another tea and it's you pay quarterly so it's $30 every every three months and this is the May one the sample tea is called Vista Blend Herbal Tea and it says, this tea reminds us to slow down. Sometimes the best view is where we already are. It's all organic, honeybush tea, Oregon lavender, apricots, apple pieces, marigold, apricot essence, no caffeine, steep one teaspoon in boiling water three to five minutes. Great iced. And I haven't tried either one of these yet and I've been dying to, but I've been holding off so I can show you the full packets so you can see what they look like. And then the full size tea, this one sounds really interesting, is Zesty Lemon Sunshine Chai. And it says it's great hot or cold, add some nourishing zing and refreshing spice to your tea moments. All organic, lemon peel, black tea, cinnamon bark, ginger, cardamom, allspice, clove, black pepper, love and gratitude. This one has caffeine. And it says steep one teaspoon in boiling water three to five minutes. And so that's the size. And see all the, just a lot of like nice chunks of stuff in there. I'm really interested to try this. It's funny because I like lemon like in tea, but I don't like lemon like that much in candy or 
likes, you know, people like um, lemon meringue pie. I don't like lemon meringue pie. I know that's probably not popular, but <laughs> I just don't. So that's it for the tea. So I'm going to tell you about books in a minute. I'm trying to think of what I want to go next. Because I have read a lot of books since the last time we talked. Because like I said, I've, that's what I've been doing for my whole lunch hour. It's what I've been doing when I get home. I actually need to slow down a little because uh, I need to dust around here. Okay, well, let me go next to the Walmart Beauty Box. This is that box I told you guys about that comes out seasonally. It's free. You just pay the $5 shipping. And so I'll show you what came in it for. Let's see, I think this is, I don't know if this was the spring or the summer box. Spring, it says, tells me right here in front of my face. Uh, Walmart's beauty boxes have you covered all year long. These Walmart spring picks provide you with beauty products that help you define your beauty into full bloom. And they box them up nice. First thing right off the top is an apricot scrub, St. Ives. Then next is a Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Okay, this you apply after showering. I was wondering if it was like that Nivea one that you can do in the shower, which I actually really like that one. Just make sure you don't get it anywhere close to the bottom of your feet or you might slip and fall in your shower but I really like it. So this one is, says after showering, but before drying off, apply to wet skin. Hmm. Next is Cetaphil or Cetaphil. I'm not really sure how you pronounce these. I've always called it Cetaphil. Um, these are gentle skin cleansing cloths, ultra soft and gentle for even the most sensitive skin, which means you could probably use this in some special parts. I'd probably use them for my face. <laughs> Up next is Dove Advanced Care Deodorant. I like getting these, this one's the Skin Renew, but uh, I like getting the sample sizes because I take them on vacation. Up next, this is funny because this is the kind of toothpaste I use, Colgate Optic White Platinum. This is a three ounce one, that's a pretty good size. High impact white. I'm gonna open this. It doesn't, it feels like I'm way bigger than a sample. There was this card, I thought it was gonna be a coupon, but it's not. I'm trying to open it so I can see how big it is. Yeah, this is definitely, I think this is a full size. That's, that's, that's good. And then there are a couple of cards for Olay. This one and this one has a coupon for $3 off. It's Olay Regenerist Luminous Tone Perfecting Cream Moisturizer. Fades the look of dark spots in 8 weeks. And it's just a little sample. And then last is another Olay Olay Regenerist Advanced Anti-Aging Visible Wrinkle Results Start Day 1 and there's a $3 off coupon for it too. I don't know about that one day claim. So that was everything that came in the Walmart box. I think these things are totally worth the $5 shipping. Let's see, I'll show you what came in Peaches and Petals and then I got two fun things that I bought that I've been wanting to use and I've been holding off because I've been waiting so I could show you guys this other stuff. I have all this in my, you know, my chair I keep. So I've actually got two Peaches and Petals. There's this one, which is for last month. And I haven't decided, I think I'm going to get at least one more of these after I show you what came in these two boxes. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing it. 
and not because I don't like what comes in the box because I think these are awesome and I think they're like 21 a month totally worth it you get your money's worth it's just I don't need everything that these come with so you know I'm gonna end up donating or garage selling stuff so let's see for this box this was the it's called April showers it's the April box and right on top this I'm definitely gonna try out and use but this is a detangling shower brush for wet or dry hair with soft flexible bristles. It says it's perfect for wet or dry hair, extra flexible bristles with coated tips for gentle scalp massage, excellent on all hair types, also works great on wigs and hair extensions. I don't have any of those. Great for men, women, and children. So I'm going to try it out. What I use right now is a tangle teaser. That, I love that brush. That's one of those things that I bought because of YouTube. I saw people talking about it. And my hair gets really tangly, like in the shower and when I sleep. So I, I've been, I use a satin pillowcase. That helps a lot. Keeps my hair from tangling up. But the Tangle Teaser is, I feel like I lose a lot less hair using that. And I don't know how that thing works, but it goes straight through your hair no matter how tangled it is. So, but I'll try this for sure. Next is something I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use. I think it's probably a perfectly fine thing. It's a five-in-one multifunction beauty care massager. And it says it has five different head attachments to cleanse, gently massage, exfoliate, and remove calluses. So it's got a pumice, soft foam, soft sponge, rolling massager, gentle brush an instruction manual. It takes two AA batteries. And the only reason I'm, I'm going to... it doesn't tell you the value. The only reason I won't use it is because I have a Clarisonic for my face and I have a... it's not an Amape, you know the foot file thing. It's not an Amape, it's a different brand that's like a rechargeable one. It works perfect, it doesn't take batteries, so I will probably give this away. Next, this thing smells awesome, is a body wash and a sponge. This one's the pink grapefruit. It says it lasts eight plus showers. I've, they make these for your feet and I love them. And it's by Spongibles, the same brand. One side's like a sponge that's got like soap in it and then the other side is like a, not really a pumice, but it's abrasive. So I use it on my feet every shower. I've tried one of these for the body one time and I will try this but the other one was like a vanilla I think it was a vanilla it made me itch so bad I wanted to like peel my skin off so then I ended up using it to clean the shower but I will try this because hopefully this one won't be like that because that's really pretty cool. That's something cool that you could take on vacation or something. I'm kind of afraid to try it, kind of not. But I'm gonna try it. Because at worst, I would itch, you know, for a while and then just have a good shower cleaner because they do work good to clean the shower walls too. Up next is this rain cloud wall planter. like a little thing you hang on the wall that comes off looks like you put a plant in there and then that's got holes in it so it would water whatever little plant you put in here wouldn't be a very big plant might be cute to plant grass seed in you know how you can buy those things that you plant grass seed in it says simply hang on your wall somewhere with some sunlight is best and plant with seeds or sprouts of your choice Water as needed through the fun rain cloud and watch your beautiful flowers or herbs you planted grow. Pro tip, add a piece of cloth or paper towel to cloud for a longer rain. So that'd be really cute for kids. I'll be honest, I won't use this. There's nowhere in my house that I probably would put this. But you know, this, I don't know, might be cute to put out on the patio because you could let, you could sit it flat. I don't know. 
I don't know yet. And then there's a little necklace in here. It tells you, this card tells you about everything. It doesn't tell you the value of stuff. This is a little necklace. Oh, that's cute. It's a little cloud, and then it has an umbrella and a raindrop. That's, that's really actually very cute. I like that, and you know what else? I like how it's just all silver. I'll keep that, because I'll wear that. That's really cute. And then, trying to look at the card. Because you always get like, like several things and then a surprise. So I'm trying to see if this is the surprise. This is a facial cleansing brush. Um, Adorable umbrella necklace, rain cloud wall planner, shower gel and a sponge, rainy day, sunny day puzzle book. Oh, the brush. The brush was the surprise. So this is really cute. A rainy day, sunny day puzzles. It says over 150 puzzles. I peeled that because it says peel here. It's really easy to get the sticker off. Over 150. Oh, and look, it's got like spot the difference. Letter fit. Sudoku. Shape counting crosswords. All kinds of just some things I've never heard of. Snake snake word. Calcudoku. That has to do with math. I'm mm mm. I don't know some of these, but it's got the instructions, so that's really cool. And it's like a hard board book. So, that's everything that came in the April box. Now, the May box, they, they always, so far, all the ones I've got have always come in like this white, this white, this size box. But the May box had so much stuff in it, they had to send it in this big box. This, the stuff was too big. And they had put a note in here to tell you, uh, Hello, lovely. You may have noticed that your May box arrived in non-traditional packaging. The reason for this is because there were so many great items that fit this month's theme that we could simply not fit them all in our standard box. We hope you enjoy it. So I thought that was sweet that they sent that note. And this one, trying to find a card. There it is, Maybox. And it just says Maybox, it doesn't tell you the theme, but I can tell you the theme is party, which I've actually never thrown a party. I really never, I never have. I mean, we've had a barbecue before, and like a 4th of July barbecue, but never like a party party. Not that I really want to throw a party, but I don't know why I threw that in there. So, I, I know this camera's going to flip here in a minute, and I keep watching the time. Uh, the first thing is, it's called a party stopper. It's like a wine bottle stopper, but then all these colored things pop off, and then you can use them on wine glasses. To mark the wine glasses. That This is cool. I will definitely keep this. I don't have parties, so I don't know why, but I just think it's cute and cool. Next, these are, I'm going to open these up, but I wanted to show you what they look like first. I'm still waiting for this thing to clip off. These are cocktail napkins, and they have drink recipes on them, and I really want to know if there's different ones in here, because this, both sides say Bloody Mary. So I'm going to open them and see if there's other recipes besides Bloody Mary. I hope there is. I think that would be really cool. And there's not. But they're all Bloody Mary. Yeah. Just don't say that three times in a mirror. 
you know that old urban legend or old tale. Still cool has a Bloody Mary recipe. I was watching, I knew it was going to do it and it did it and now I'm back. <laughs> it cuts off at 20 minutes and then it starts again and it's fine because on the memory card it just puts it as a separate file. But I knew it was going to do it and I didn't want to like have it interrupt me but yeah I won't we don't need these for a party but we'll still use them just for regular napkins. I was so hoping that they'd have different recipes on them. Up next I think this might be fun it's charades in a box celebrity edition and this weekend my brother and sister-in-law and their two kids are coming up for a visit so maybe the grown-ups can play this. Kids you know they're too little they wouldn't know but maybe like um, me and my husband and the two of them and my kids are 20 and well my my youngest is going to be 17 on June 6th they're old enough to play it so maybe we can play this and have fun but charades in a box next this I think is really cool I think this is why they had to have the big box is this party tasting spoon set now I guess I'm just a country hick I don't know but I've never seen spoons that look like this before so <laughs> I don't call those spoons they look like little bowls in a tray so I don't know I think this is really very pretty but it's not very practical for me so this is one of those things that I will probably donate I'll open it and look at it and see because those little teardrop things sure are cute. See, I look at this and I think, oh, I would definitely use the, just the platter. And then I look at these and I think, you know, those would be really cool for like when you stir your tea and you need to sit the spoon somewhere. Those would be really cool spoon holders. <laughs> I said, look at it like that. Because I'm not fancy. I'm not going to have a party and use that for a party. I would use it for, for other things. So maybe I will keep it. I don't know. Next is, this is a cutting board, which, let me see, yeah, it's a melamine cutting board. It's really pretty. I mean, it, I, I use uh, wood cutting boards, but that's, it's pretty. I won't use it, but it's pretty. And then next is a chalkboard party arrow set so it comes with all these arrows and then you can make a sign with them you can use like a chalkboard marker so that's cool but <laughs> I think I might see if my sister-in-law would want some of these party things because their kids are little and if they have birthday parties that might be fun and then this is a chalkboard pennant set which this, I don't think I'll use it for a pennant, but I do think I'll save it because look, see like how it comes with these circles and there's some twine, there's like different things. I think I would use pieces of this, you know, and, and if I ever get my craft room or, you know, I can label bins and stuff with these. I think this is really cool. And then lastly, I thought I might, um, the girls, my nieces, they're little, well, well, one of them is really little, she's like three, the other one's in school, maybe she's four, I don't know, is that bad that I can't remember the names of them, or not, the names, oh my god, I can remember their names, <laughs> but this looks like it might be fun for them to make stuff you're supposed to like fold the papers and stuff in like an accordion but it comes with the paper flat and it comes with the circles and stuff and maybe they would have fun playing with these I don't know I think that would be really really cool and they make some really beautiful medallions paper medallions they look so cool I just don't know where I would use them but I think they're really pretty the surprise in that one was party tasting set melamine cutting board cocktail napkins pennant banner chalkboard arrows party game oh this was this was the surprise so that was the may peaches and petals 
And this was actually honestly the box that made me wonder if I want to keep getting it because there are so many things in here that just, I'm not a partier, even though I think it would be fun to have a party. I just, most of my family, actually none of my fam my immediate family live in this area. They all live on the other side of the state or out of state. So it wouldn't be my family. My husband's an only child, so he doesn't have a lot of brothers and sisters and stuff. And so we just don't have, you know, a lot of family. We've got friends, but not enough to have like some big party. Plus our house isn't very big. So I just don't see myself partying. Okay. Here's a couple of fun things. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, you know that I really like Groot and I really like Deadpool. Well, on the Plum Deluxe website, well, if, if you join Plum Deluxe, you can get into their Facebook group and there's a lot of really nice people there. And there was one person that had posted their mug with their tea in it and it was Deadpool. And it was kind of funny because I actually had that mug on my wish list on Amazon, but I hadn't got it, hadn't got it, because I was like, oh, would it be good to drink tea out of and stuff. Then I saw her picture and that took me over the edge and I immediately went out to my wish list and I bought it. And these are by, um, you might have heard of Funko Pop. They do like the bobbleheads and they do different things. And so it's in that Funko, it's in that pop styling. I'm going to take it out of the box so you can see it. But this is Marvel's Deadpool, which I also got the movie by the way. I bought it. I pre-ordered it and have had it for a little while now. So that's just what the box looks like. Now I don't buy these things as collector's items. I know some people buy stuff like this and then they put it on a shelf or in a closet or whatever, you know, so that they can maybe sell it later or whatever. I don't. I just love the things and I want them and I want to use them. So this is, oh, this is so cute. I did I hadn't opened the boxes until now. Here's what it looks like. It even has, can you see like from his hood, it even has like the little point. So it's a nice size mug. I'm trying to see if it says what size. Like the ounces. I would guess it to be about 12 from looking at it. I could be wrong. I don't see on the box. It probably says right in front of my face, but hand wash only, which I was planning on doing anyway. Hmm. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. I don't know. But anyway, I'm definitely going to use it. Then the other one is Groot. And that's what the box for Groot looks like. And Groot is from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's also Marvel. <laughs> oh, these are really cute. I think they were ten dollars or ten ninety nine I didn't need another mug I have plenty of mugs but who needs half the stuff we get but here's Groot look at his little mouth just their detailing and everything I really would like to know how many ounces I can figure it out though I can put ounce I can put water, you know, measure it. It's definitely enough for a cup of tea or coffee or whatever. It's not like a baby mug. So those are my fun purchases. I've actually not been buying a whole lot of stuff because we go on our annual vacation in July. So I've been saving money towards that. I save money all year towards it, but I try to like right before we go, like pump more money, save more money and stuff. So, because we like to buy like souvenirs and go out to eat and just do all the fun stuff that you do on vacation. So last up, let's talk about books. I have my cell phone because I'm going to pull up the Kindle app. 
and Apple keeps trying to push their latest software update and it's annoying. I should have had this up. I thought I did. Here we go. Okay, the first, I read this series of books. They're called, it's a McCabe, McCabe and Savage thriller. The author is named James Heyman, H-A-Y-M-A-N. And I was trying to pull one of them up just so you could see. There we go. There's the cover of one of them. This one was called um, The Girl in the Glass. There's four different books. They are thrillers or like mystery thrillers, like detective thrillers. And there's like a guy detective and a girl detective. And the main character in two of them is the guy detective. And then the third one is more the girl detective. And then it goes back to the guy detective. These were really good. I liked them a lot and I found them on um, the first one I found it on book bookbub but then when I went to Amazon you could buy the whole all four of them for it was less than five dollars I don't remember the exact price but it was less than five dollars so But if you like thrillers and like mysteries, detective books, I think you would probably like them. There's, um, like I said, four books. Then I, I read a book, this one, it has, I don't like a lot of gore in books, you know, just for the sake of gore. You know, like the Saw movies, how it just seems like, or Hostel, those movies like that just seems like they just are trying to gross you out. But if there's some gore that seems like it fits with the story and it doesn't get too, too, too detailed, I'm okay with it. And this was a book that fits that bill. There's an author named Michael Brent Collins and the reason it's taken a minute is because some of these I hadn't downloaded to my phone. I brought my phone instead of my Kindle because I figured I could get to the books easier. And that's how you spell his name, Michael Brent Collings. This one was called Strangers and it was really interesting because it's one of those that you can't figure out what is going on. and. It's like this, well, I can tell you without giving it up, giving the plot up, I was looking to see if it could tell me. Okay. You wake up in the morning to discover that you have been sealed into your home. The doors are locked. The windows are barred. There's no way out. A madman is playing a deadly game with you and your family, a game with no rules, only consequences. So what do you do? Do you run? Do you hide? Or do you die? It was good. It was totally different than any kind of book I had read, and I really liked it. But it does have some gore in it. And then I read a book, let me show you the cover, called Storeberry. This was a scary book. It was really good. It, it was, let me see what it tells you about it. Because I don't want to give it a giveaway. Okay, it's a vampire book. I wasn't sure if, it, if I was giving anything away. It it's kind of reminds me of Salem's Lot. But it says, haunted by childhood demons, Evan Moran returns to Storeberry, Virginia to find a greater evil threatens the town. Teenager Jen Barrows is frightened by the strange noises coming from her garage crawl space after nightfall, despite the assurances of friend Tom Kingsley that there is nothing to fear. There's something to fear. 
When a strange storm cripples the town's communication systems, something hideous begins stalking the people of Storberry. Tom and Jen align themselves with Evan, and a tiny group of survivors who suspect the horrible truth behind the evil loosen the night. Together they must overcome personal tragedy and find a way to survive until sunrise. In the darkest pit of night, before the faintest strip of blood red is on the eastern horizon, it seems the sun will never again rise in Storberry. It was really good. It reminded me more of like an old-fashioned vampire book. I liked it a lot too. Let me look. So yeah, I read those four books in the McCabe and Savage thrillers. That one, Strangers, and then Storberry. And right now I'm reading one called Total, Total Victim Theory. I'm going to see if it'll let me pull up the cover on it. Pretty basic, Ian Ballard. This one I'm not very far into yet, so I don't know. I like it. So far I do like it. It's definitely got my interest. It, when I was reading the reviews about it, there were a couple of people that complained about it flipping back and forth between time periods. I don't have a problem with that. To me the book makes it very clear when you're in a different year or you're in a different city or whatever so I'm not having a problem with that at all so I don't I don't know but here's the synopsis six months have passed since a faded black ledger mysteriously appeared on FBI agent Jake Radley's doorstep puzzling over the documents sinister entries Jake pieces together a story of mass murder near the Texas Mexico border two decades before if Jake's theory is correct, the names listed on the ledger's final page are the victims of a previously unknown serial killer. Leads are scarce until a gruesome new crime scene deep in the Mexican desert shows a chilling connection to the border deaths of long ago. So you're back 20 years, you're to the future, you're in different spots, and I'm not going to give it away. I think I've kind of figured a few things out, but I'm not, I don't want to say because I don't want to ruin it. So... I've done a lot of reading. That's what, four, five, six books, and I'm on my seventh now. You know what? I don't know if I told you guys about this book. Did I? Did I t there was a book called The Book of You by Claire Kendall. I don't remember if I told you guys about this one. This was good. I might have been reading it the last time. It's about a stalker. It's, it's, but it's really good. Kind of freak you out. So yeah. That's a lot of reading. And I've been doing a lot of talking. So. I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's enough. So. I don't know what else to talk about. But I'm sure I'll think of something for next time. And I'll see you guys Talk to you next time. Bye.